According to a new study out of Stanford University's School of Medicine, vaping may be associated with an increased risk of COVID-19 among teenagers and young adults. That's no surprise to Dr. Davy Carrao. She's a pediatric pulmonologist at Children's Health and a professor at UT Southwestern. Teens will vape with each other. They may share the same vape. And when they're doing that, they're not keeping social distance. They're not wearing masks. The chemicals in e-cigarettes can also lead to respiratory problems. Dr. Rao continues to see devastating cases of e-cigarette or vaping product use associated lung injury called e -Valley. We had a lot of teens who were admitted with e um, in, in the midst of a pandemic. Dr. Rao worked on another recent vaping study, the first of its kind, right out of North Texas, that shows e -Valley doesn't just affect teenagers' lungs. GI symptoms were just as prominent as respiratory symptoms, and this was pretty surprising. Her research also found steroids were an effective treatment to resolve those GI issues and improve lung function. Dr. Rao hopes the study will help guide pediatricians, emergency room physicians, and family doctors. Whatever I can do to um, contribute to the, the medical data and the literature um, that informs what they do in the exam room is, is definitely really important. Dr. Rao recommends parents have a conversation with their kids about the risks of vaping. Many young people don't believe e-cigarettes are as harmful as traditional cigarettes, and they don't understand the long-term consequences. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.